Youth runner here with Valor Christian Star, Caden Dendorfer, uh, fourth individually, uh, and uh, Valor Christian second as a team. Uh, great battle with Rock Canyon. We know there's going to be a lot more of those uh, oh, between yeah. uh, now and Norris Penrose, and certainly Annex R Southwest. Uh, but we're at the Liberty Bell Invitational today. Obviously, uh, always a great showcase for uh, for Caden and uh, the Valor Christian athletes. Uh, just you know, to be able to have such an amazing group up there between Benji Anderson and obviously Jaron Wisner coming from uh, New, New Mexico. He gave you a big shout out for oh, obviously, yeah. you know, uh, befriending him and obviously uh, Ben Adams as, uh, as well. Just to have such a collective group you know, uh, running uh, sub 15. Seems like there's a lot of uh, excitement that's going to be on the horizon as long as everybody stays healthy by the time we get to uh, you know to November and, and December. But how, how, how do you how do you assess you know, how the race went today? Um, you know, I think uh, you know it's still pretty early in the season. Um, so I would say um, you know if I were to give an assessment, it is it is a real good, promising start. You know, obviously, you know I can't you know I can't say that you know the the job's finished here. You know, I think uh, especially after this race, I'm more hungry than ever to, you know, uh, go after it. And so I think, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good promising start. Um, you know, a, a good reinforcement from, uh, you know, my uh, my uh, debut from a couple uh, a couple weeks ago at Norris Penrose uh, for you know Shine Mountain Stampede, and you know it's uh, it's exciting you know seeing, uh, you know being up in the top pack and pe competing with all all these boys, and you know I think uh, you know everyone's going to have such a good season, and you know I think uh, it's really cool, you know, especially you know once we get towards the end of the race, you know we're just all. Uh, working off each other and helping each other out getting to the finish and um, I can't honestly wait to see what you know each and every one of us is going to do so it's a big blessing to you know be able to you know run with all these boys and have such a tight group of you know such a tight community of runners and um, you know it's you know the sky's the limit when it comes to you know what's going to happen this season so I'm I'm really excited to see what you know my team's going to do you know I, I think we got a really good uh, good team of boys it's going to be really promising to you know see what we're going to be able to do and you know, I can't. I can't wait to see what you know what, what happens at State and NXR. So, looking forward to it. Most definitely, Caden. Uh, from uh, from a team standpoint, I mean, uh, obviously, you know, we, uh, we we've seen like how this is uh, kind of a, a springboard, uh, but you know, it's also still a test of patience, right? Like yep. you, whether you win today, you finish se uh, second day, you finish fifth day. Like, I mean, it's only September 14th, and obviously the name of the game is first November 2nd, and then November 23rd, and ultimately, Lord willing, health providing uh, December 7th. Exactly. Uh, how much are you just kind of trying to remind and reassure the, uh, other guys that it's like, this is this is, this is is only one step? I know everybody gets excited about oh, Liberty yeah. Bell, yep. and rightfully so, but it's like, look, you know, much respect for Valor Christian, much respect for Rock Canyon, you know, and, uh, and, you know, and, and all the teams in, in that group, but it's like, we just we have to all remind ourselves it's still only September 14th. Absolutely, yeah. I think uh, you know we do a really good job of reiterating every day at practice. You know, we're taking it day by day, week by week. Um, you know, really, you know, short term. You know, we're doing short term. Um, you know, what, what what's it look like at practice? You know, are we putting in the work? Are we getting the sleep? Are we, you know, getting the nutrition and all that? You know, just reminding the boys day by day. It's just day by day, and that's you know that's what the practice should be. And and you know we're gonna take it race by race. You know, there's there's absolutely um, there's many things you know we can learn from all of our races this year. You know, even though. You know, we placed first at Norris Penrose at Shine Mountain SMP. There were still things we could learn from this, uh, from that race. There's absolutely things we can learn from this race moving forward. And you know, I think that's what the beauty of you know running is all about. Is there's always something that we can learn, always something we can do better at, uh, whether that be from a team or an in individual standpoint. And so, you know, I'm uh, I'm excited. You know, obviously to see what the boys are going to be able to pull off towards the end of the season. Uh, but you know, I think it's just a day by day thing. You know, day by day, week by week putting in the training and you know just uh, trusting the Lord in that and and trusting that the training will pay off once we get to the end of the season um, you know we've you know we've we've dealt with uh, you know you know we've dealt with challenges and trials as a team um, you know we've we we've, we've you know we've struggled before and we'll struggle again but we do it together as a team and you know in the end we're looking to do something big and all, all for the Lord's name so Good. last thing obviously you, you I mean you have such a Good understanding of, uh, of of this course, and obviously such a familiarity with the uh, with the guys. Uh, just you know, to be able, and, and I, I've asked you know, the women in Class Five A as well. Like, I mean, it was already the toughest classification in the country, yep. and then you know, and then we pull pull this you know young and feisty uh, and ambitious Niwot group in there as well. Like, it, I mean, how blessed do you feel just uh, that it's like? Every invitational and certainly in the postseason, that it's like I'm going to be running against you know uh, the uh, you know the the deepest 
classification of, uh, of guys, the deepest state of guys, you know, uh, in, in, in the United States. Like, so it's just iron sharpens iron all the time. Oh, like, yeah. how, how significant, how meaningful is that for you? I'd say, honestly, it's just an incredible blessing. You know, like you said, iron sharpens iron. It's, you know, every race being able to race with these, um, you know, amazing, you know, with, um, you know, some of the best top talent in the country is just incredible. You know, it's, it's definitely really encouraging, you know, being, being able to run next to these guys and, you know, being able to, you know, push each other to the end of the race, you know, uh, get that incredible time, that incredible placement. And, you know, I think it's, it's just incredible, especially how like tight knit we are and how well we all know each other. And, um, you know, I just think it's, it's incredible. You know, I, I can't wait to, you know, move up into college and go see what everybody, where everyone's going to go and, you know, what everybody's going to be doing. And, you know, it's going to be really, really fun to see, um, you know, what everybody's able to do this season. And I think, you know, to be a part of that, it, it just means so much. And, you know, just to be, you know, a part of that conversation is, is um, you know, it's incredible. And, you know, just to be able to, you know, uh, run next to these guys is, is it's amazing. You know, all these guys are such, you know, amazing people. And it's a blessing. I can't you know, reiterate how much of a blessing it is and, you know, how much they really challenge me to, you know, become a better runner and, you know, a better person in general. And, you know, that's, I think, again, it's, you know, just the beauty of the sport is, um, you know, the your, your competition, it's, it's more of a challenge. You know, it's like they're, they're here to challenge you and, um, you know, the, the boys in the top, you know, that top pack today, they really challenged me to get to the finish and, and push myself to a place where I've never really been. So, um, you know, I, I can't reiterate, you know, it's just a great blessing to, you know, be able to run with these guys. So. Awesome, man. Uh, great competitor, uh, great leader, uh, and obviously uh, part of an outstanding team at Valor Christian. Caden Dendover again, fourth overall individually. Uh, Valor Christian second uh, in the sweepstakes at Liberty Bell Invitational. Stay healthy. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Well, do. Thank you. I appreciate it.